Hello, this is Ginger Snaspy, aka Alyssa Huber, and today I'll be playing Zelda Majora's Mask for the Autistic Gaming Initiative. I really love this game, because it's part of my childhood, and it's a good game in general. It's a little bit creepy, but also mystical, and well, it's a Zelda game, so what's not to love? So the purpose of this streaming event is to raise money for the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network and the Autism Women's Network. I'll paste the link for the donation in the chat. So if you could click that and make a donation, that would be awesome. Uh, let me just paste it. There is the donation link. These organizations are great because they provide helpful resources and information for people on the spectrum. And even if you donate just like a dollar, five dollars, whatever you can, any amount is helpful. So, without further ado, let's begin. Whoa, okay, my volume's way up right now, I gotta fix it. There we go. Hello, Passerby1474. I remember you from last time. Right, creepy guy. Uh, one moment. I need to open up the save file that we were on. Uh, restore. Wait a minute. Sorry, I'm trying to find my save state right now. Where did it go? Well, maybe it. Maybe it's safe. <laughs> that is so funny, Jubal. Um. Okay, I'm. I'm. I think I got it up now. All right. Uh, a little bit of OCD. Just checking to make sure I'm streaming correctly here. So, I don't know if you remember, but we called him Lunkface. Because it's a beautiful name. It's so inspiring. Hello, Megan Bowles. Alrighty. Ooh, ah! Man, them graphics. So beautiful. Actually, I do prefer the original graphics. Hello, Mother. <laughs> um... East Clocktown. Apparently I haven't been here before. Na, 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 na. Oh, I'm good. How are you on this lovely day? Darn it! Everything should be open for me! Okay, I think what I'm supposed to be doing right now is I have to find the leader of these little kids. It's funny, I've played this game dozens, dozens of times and I've beaten it I've beaten it at least once, but I know I've had to like restart a bunch of times. Um, but in spite of how much I played it, I sometimes forget what the heck I'm supposed to do. Hey, Fabs. Ah, oh, that's good. Uh, I think this guy's the leader. I can pop that balloon. Somehow. <laughs> oh, I remember. In order to pop the balloon, I have to be able to have that ability that makes me shoot stuff out of my face. So, um, basically, I shoot a bubble out of my little face hole, I guess. <laughs> I have to find, uh, in order to get that though, I have to find all the little missing fairies for that were over here. Oh no, the great fairy! No! Should I give. Should I give my fairy a weird accent? Young one, please hear my plea! I've been broken and shattered to pieces by the bad skull kid! Hence why my voice is screwed up! Please find the one stray fairy last in town and bring her to this fairy fountain! No! Ah, the tickle! Stop it! Stop it! Why can't I move? Ah, get away! This is harassment! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I would... If I wouldn't be if I if I wouldn't be arrested for it, I would want to beat up the little kids. 
They're the little narcissists. But you know, that's what most young boys are like, so... You know, I say let them do whatever they want. What has... Oh! I thought you said they had three faces. Oh, the fairies, yeah. Fairies have really weird faces. Well, the fairy... Technically, they're like fairy fragments, not really fairies. I know one of them is over here. Aw, that's nice, Babs. I'm I'm glad every any time I can brighten someone's day, it makes me happy. So, brightening other people's days brightens my day. Oh wait, I actually kind of want to get a closer look at their face now. Where's that button that lets me look at them? I don't think I. Uh, hey, look! I'm a turtle. I don't know where that. No. <laughs> Uh, one moment. I need to program the controller because I'm actually missing some buttons. Uh, controller plugin. Okay. E C buttons. Oh! I have those on this. Up and end. Okay, so I have to use my keyboard for these buttons apparently. Okay, OCD. We're good. Um. Yep. Alright. Yeah, Jubal's you're right. It he does kinda or he, she, whatever. It has a funny face. <laughs> Just believe in the heart of the keyboard. Aw. Yay, I'm cheering more people up. Yay! Does the keyboard have a heart? Well, I would like to think so. Uh, I have a weird attachment to my stuff, like, especially my electronics. Like, I would call my laptop my baby, and every time it's giving me errors and stuff, I'm like, no, my baby is sick. Uh, alright. Uh, trying to remember where the other fairies were. Was there more than one, or was it just that one? Okay, you're leaving. Bye bye, Megan. Alright. <sighs> I'm gonna see if I need just this one or if I need more. Because I don't remember. Also, I get the feeling I'm gonna lose track of time really easily, so I'm gonna set a timer on my phone so I don't go forever. When I get sucked into a game, I can play for a long time. Maybe not as much as as some uh, autistic gamers. I know some people can play like six hours straight <laughs> with possibly no breaks, but I can only do maybe at the most three hours. And that's on a good day. What am I setting this for? Okay, I think we have like 50 minutes left, so I'm actually gonna set it for 45 so that I'll have a five minute warning. Should I pick a particularly obnoxious alarm? Wake up horn. Yeah, that works. I don't. I for the life of me, I cannot pronounce my fairy's name. Is it? Is that an L? Is it tattle? 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 Tattle tail? Oh, hello. I don't know who you are. I can't see your uh, username or anything, but. Welcome. <laughs> Hello, Clayton. Yay! More SBs. Awesome! Okay, so... I need a funny voice for her. Turtle! And you, young one of the altered shape! Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal, even though my voice when I'm, when I'm whole again is not... Is still as bad as my voice before. Um, I am the great fairy of magic, and I thought that masked children, that masked child, was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this: I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Accept it. Accept all of it. I'm so lonely. Yay! So I did only need that one fairy. That's good. 
What's a Python ref- what- what Python reference? Did I make a Python reference by accident? Or was it something in the- oh wait. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was Jubal! <laughs> Luxury yacht. Oh, okay, I... I don't know. I, I haven't seen a whole lot of, um... Monty Python other than the, um, the Holy Grail movie thing, which was hilarious, but I think it traumatized me a little as a kid, so... First time I saw it, I watched some of it, and... I didn't want to watch anymore because there was like the, the killer bunny and everything. Like, ah, this is freaking me out a little bit. And then later I watched it and I loved it. So, uh, big thank you to uh, my fiance, Matt Rhodes, for, uh, for reintroducing me to that. Hello, doc Dr. Nichols. Are you a real, real doctor? I like these I like these little scared bushes. I just had a weird thought. Cuz sometimes when I say I when I say bush, I think of beards. So if you if if you have a scared bush, is it like What's the beard do? Does it like writhe when people get too close? How often do I find a new special interest? Actually, very often. And for her a while, I questioned whether that was an Asperger's thing or not. And, um... Oh wait, I was supposed to talk to the kid. <laughs> I'm getting so distracted. Uh, I sometimes uh, suspect I may have ADHD sometimes, just because... I go from one thing to another, I'll like obsess over one thing and then I'll obsess over another thing. Like, for a while I'll have a favorite uh, music video. Or I'd have like a favorite game. It would sometimes it lasts a long time, and sometimes it it could last only like a few days to a week, maybe a month, and then I'd get bored of whatever that was and I'd switch. I need I need to think of a voice for him. Maybe I should make it super low. Are Are you the one who just mopped that up there? Not bad for a ticket shop. No, I try to put unfitting voices to stuff, but they're not very creative. I don't want. Uh, That's just weird. Heavy metal singer kid. Ooh. Zelda? Uh, depends on if you're referring to all Zelda games or um, just one. But uh, Zelda games in general, maybe I play at least once a month. I have a. Ah, I'm gonna get you! Gotta get you! Gotta get you! Little kid! You little kid with the bubble feet! Get back here! Get back here! I'll shoot you with my face hole! Okay, sorry. Um, I have, well, my brother is, has lent me his, uh, one of his, uh, what's it called? Nintendo DS things, and I have the, what are they called? The HD versions of this game and Ocarina of Time. And I was playing Ocarina of Time for a long time, like maybe, uh, oh, no, there's two of them. I was playing those for a long time, maybe like the course of a few months, and now I just kind of stopped. And the last time I played Zelda was probably in my first uh, live stream for Autistic Gaming Initiative, which was like two months ago. Dun, 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 dun. What do you want? Why do we have to play in stupid Brad's all games? Come on, hurry up. I don't remember if I gave her a voice or not. I'm gonna be very inconsistent because I probably won't even remember all the weird voices that I use. Maybe I should do like a golem voice or something for her. Uh, okay, I think one of the kids. I'm honestly just wandering aimlessly. That's my style. I'm a wanderer. I'm very directionally challenged, so sometimes I get lost and I just like roll with it. I'm just like, I'll just wander around until I find something familiar. And then eventually I just end up taking out my phone and looking at my GPS and trying to uh, go back to where I was. What? What are you doing? How did you get up there, you little kid? Okay, to be honest, it looks a little shady. It's like he's gonna jump or something. Is your life really that awful? 
Please, don't jump off the building! Don't jump off the building! I will save you! Ugh. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Ocarina of Time is a really good game. Um... I like... I don't really have a favorite, but... I mean, out of all the Zelda games, I do prefer... Um, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. They each have their own charm. Like, if I want to play something really a little bit darker, I'll play this game because it gets a little creepy sometimes. Um, oh, come on. I don't want to- I don't even have the secret code yet! And that kid just went down there. I have to probably- I probably have to come back in here. Uh, but yeah, and then if I'm in the mood for- I don't even know, like, what is special about- Ocarina of Time is just a classic, so if I'm in the mood for a classic, I go for that. Uh, when other ask me to talk about the, your interest, does it bore you? Uh, sorry, I'm like seeing multiple messages, and like my brain's trying to give me answers to all of them. I'm like, no, just one at a time, or else it'll come out in jumble of words. Uh, another thing is, I'm friends with a lot of Aspies. Um, and I actually, when, how do I put this? I've become kind of a good listener just because, you know, I know, like, a lot of, a lot of Aspies just don't have people to talk to, so when they talk about their interests, no, whether or not it bores me is kind of irrelevant. I just want them to be able to talk about what they like. There are some cases where it's like, you know, so grating on my brain that I avoid conversation with that person, but that's very rare in most cases. I try- I really try to get interested in what they're talking about. There are some times when, like, I actually develop new interests by listening to other people talking about their interests. Uh, like my best friend Katie. I was- I was such a butt when I was younger. I didn't want anything to do with anybody else's interests. I just wanted to do whatever I wanted to do. Um, so it's like, I would tolerate, like, listening to my friends talking about stuff, but I just wouldn't really care. And then later on, uh, especially as I got to know my friend Katie, she, like, just her enthusiasm for all the things that she liked had this effect on me that actually got me interested in some of the stuff she likes. Like, she got me to play Minecraft, and I never thought I'd play Minecraft, and now I love it. Oh, they're gonna make me a club member. Are we gonna do a, a ritual? Are we gonna put some candles around in a circle? Okay, so this is the code. I should, like, write it down somewhere if I can. Here we go. Three, two, one, five, four, and I'm gonna put down what it is so I remember this. Majora's Mask PC. Okay. Yeah, I guess Skull Kid would be relatable for, um... Oh, thank you, staff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess Skull Kid would be relatable for a lot of Aspies because he... I don't... I don't remember his entire backstory, but I think he was... Like, shunned or something and just lived in the forest. I don't remember if it was like Skull Kids are children who just run away or if they're like disowned or something. But I know that they are very lonely and solitary and a bit frightening to people who don't understand them. Hello, David. Yay, YouTubers. Uh, what am I doing again? Okay, East Clocktown. It's funny, I was... My wandering led me to where I needed to go. That doesn't always happen. If you want to pass through here, I gotta say the secret code. I haven't been drinking because I'm only four. Okay. Well, if they're drinking anything, it's probably like a juice box. Oh, that's right. Okay, I guess your face is creepy, but I'm gonna let you in anyway. Are the kids all bald or something? They seem to. They all wear bandanas. Dun, 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 
So, oh, uh... Just, okay. My brain! Oh, no, no, no! No, I forgot, I can't swim. Apparently you can't swim in this form. You have to hop across the water. It's weird because he's made out of wood, so he should be able to float. Uh, so... Uh, Clayton, you mentioned Castlevania. Uh, I have never owned Castlevania for Nintendo, but I've played it before. And... I, all I remember is I got really stuck on the first part. I forget which Castlevania, but all I remember I was wandering this big field and there was like skeletons and stuff and I was this girl shooting stuff out of my hands. I don't know, it seemed like a pretty good game. I just like, because I, when I get stuck in games I tend to just stop playing them. So I stopped playing that one. Oh, awesome! Yay! Another Aspie couple! My fiance also has Asperger's like I do. And I know Asperger's technically isn't a diagnosis anymore, but when we were diagnosed that, like, we got the diagnosis before it was removed, so. We're all in the same family. Whether uh, your diagnosis is autism, Asperger's, autism spectrum disorder, PDD, NOS. But that's really cool. I think, uh, I, th I find Aspie relationships to be really cute and amazing. If they work out, there are some that are that kind of blow up. <laughs> so, just like with everybody else, you gotta be compatible. Well, well, a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bobbers gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend, friend from the other day in spite of your face hole. <laughs> That ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? I don't know. I don't want to let my guard down around you. You're a stranger. Oh, it's him again. Hello. Yeah, that's Skull Kid, in case you didn't know. Um, I don't know if I should spoil too much, but I guess I, uh, him having the mask on his face was not really his fault. Uh, it's just some evil thing that took him over. Huh. That's really interesting. Uh, Dr. Nichols, how, what were the signs you think that, like, how could your mother tell that you were autistic? I'm gonna go outside and get that moon tier. Whee! Okay. Hey, nature photos are really great. I love taking nature photos. I've sometimes I'll take photos of people, but like it's really awkward. <laughs> like to get photos of people you gotta get their permission and all that, so I can see why you would prefer taking landscape photos and stuff. If you get really good ones, I think you could sell them on um, like stock image websites and stuff. I have tea. Wait, I got the moon's tear, right? I feel like I have a memory of like um, <laughs> like 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, I got it. I might as well... I'm trying to figure out... No! I didn't want to take it! Well, it is pretty. Ah, it's really pretty. Really pretty. I'm trying to figure out how to... Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's... Left, that's right. Okay, that's what I'm using those buttons for. I have a controller with a very limited number of buttons, so I'm using my keyboard for some of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It was probably, especially as a newborn, you're especially sensitive. So I can see why that would be an issue. My mom told me I cried a lot as a baby, like I was screaming a lot. I know a lot of babies cry, but she said it was like a piercing scream. Uh, hang on, reading messages. Uh, 
yeah, passerby. Um, in America, Asperger's was merged with um, autism spectrum disorder. Uh, similar to, yeah, okay. Oh, in the UK, it's still a diagnosis? Sweet. <laughs> All right, so I have this moon's tier. I'm supposed to give it to this guy who lives over here because that way I can get up to the clock tower. So when Asperger's was removed, there were a lot of people that were really uptight about it, and I can see why. Um, I think a lot of people with Asperger's, depending on the person, um, they... I guess before- how do I put this? Before, autism had a lot a lot more stigma around it, and they thought by- instead of- if they were re-diagnosed with autism, people might not treat them as well, because they'll think of autism and they'll think of, like, the really severely affected people. And, um... I know a lot of high-functioning people want to be treated like- well, low-functioning people too, probably. I, sorry, I don't like to use those, those terms, but I don't know what else to use. Um, but I guess a lot of, a lot of the ones that look a little closer to normal like to try to maintain their feeling of being nor like, like other people. I don't want to say normal because there is no normal, but I mean, it's just, whether you're autistic or not, it's, there's so much pressure to be like other people. Yes! Oh, that's cool! Yes! Fantasy writing. How long's it taking you? Because it's been taking me <laughs> over seven or eight years now to write my novel. I'm still doing world development. It's like, it's ridiculous. I have to figure out every little detail, like culture and language and history and religion and politics. Ew, politics. But hey, it's actually more interesting if it's related to my book. Oh wait, what am I doing again? I got the... What did I get? This item doesn't seem to work here! Okay. I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Land title deed. I... I'm not sure, but I think I'm supposed to wait until the third day? While while I'm here, I'm gonna um I'm gonna give some of my money to the bank. Ah lag. I'm trying to remember if the bank here keeps your money even if time restarts, because I really don't remember. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm supposed to have an ocarina or an instrument. I don't remember how to get that. I'm, I might, I might look at a walkthrough at some point. Whoa, a decade! Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, being, looking creepy to others is something that's, um, sometimes hard to avoid for Aspies, especially, uh, males. But as a baby? Or as a child? Wow. Creepy Aspie children. Uh, I'm just gonna give all of it. Take all my money. I have no idea why this person, whose gender I cannot figure out, um, why they do that whole patty cake thing. <laughs> why are you doing that? Just... okay. <laughs> Maybe it's a knee massage or something. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's pretty... but yeah, it's pretty common to uh, be writing a book for that long. It's ridiculous. Okay. Um... I will be right back. I'm going to look at a... Uh, I'm gonna look at... Uh, a walk through really quick.
I'm gonna play some music in the meantime. Here you go. Walk through. This is sad. I mean, I know this game. Oh, that's a 3D walkthrough. I want to know the uh, original game walkthrough. Nintendo 64. Uh, oh, why is my music not playing? Uh oh. There we go. Uh, please excuse me, I won't be able to see the, um, the messages for a little bit. Clocktown, Southern Swamp, beginning the game. Meet Skull Kid, find Skull Kid. Oh, that's the beginning. Arriving in Clocktown, meeting the Great Fairy, go to the observatory, go to the top of the tower. Okay. Oh, I have to wait until midnight on the third day. I have to go up the stairs, blah blah blah. Okay, so that's how I get the ocarina and everything. Yes! Uh, okay. Whoop! Oh, that's a shame. You shouldn't have to... You shouldn't have to be quiet about your interests. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna wait until the third day. I'll just mess around until then. Yeah. Agreed. Um, rather than a co-author, I have, uh, well, I have my fiancé to bounce ideas off of, because he's pretty unbiased, um, and, or at least about writing, and, um, I have another writer friend who's writing a book simultaneously, and we read our, we read each other's stuff, and we give feedback, we kind of pitch ideas to each other, and, um, give constructive criticism. Here's a toilet! With a book! Yay! <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I like this room. This is where there's stuff cooking. Look at that pixely onion. I don't know what's cooking, but I'm assuming it's some kind of Alfredo thing. It's, I don't know. Or maybe some kind of cheesy soup. I like cheesy soup. Uh, but yeah, instead of a co-author, I'm at the end of my uh, writing, I'm going to probably send it off to a professional editor. Which might be a bit pricey, but um, this book means a lot to me. Oh, I forgot! This is how you can actually go forward in time! <laughs> Two hours till morning. Uh, I'm gonna actually explore a little bit first. How much time do we got left? Uh... Oh, artwork? I mean, I don't know... I mean, I know a couple people on the spectrum who do artwork. Um, but most of them don't have the style that I like for for my book Veil. By the way, if I say Veil, that's my that's my book. Ooh, I like this guy. I love that song. Wish I could play it. Oh, it's nighttime. And all of a sudden, everything's changed. That was fast. That guy saw me and he hightailed it out of there. Okay, what do you have to say? Would you like to join our little card game? I don't know. I can't, I don't, I'm trying to do Italian, I fail. <laughs> I'll do a Mario, that's so stereotypical. You're joking, aren't you, brother? He'll make our game too complex. Whatever do you mean? It's easy playing against you. You look just like me. I already know what you look like even when you're bluffing. 
Whoa! Okay. Anyway, uh, what was I saying though? Um, yeah, Veil means an awful lot to me, so I'm like, gonna be really picky about, um, like who I choose as an editor, if I can actually choose that. Um, and who does my art. I'm probably honestly gonna do a lot of my own art because I, I already draw and I draw a lot of anime kind of stuff and anime is sort of the style that I uh, want to go for. Hello! Oh, what a cute guest. Do you have a reservation? Where's your mother? I am my own mother! I am Steven Universe! Goodbye! My IQ, even though- okay, I really believe IQ is irrelevant in terms of actual intelligence, but my IQ is... I think around- it's somewhere between 90 and 95. I think. I'm trying to remember. I don't know. But I do like to brag about <laughs> about my um, fiance's IQ, which is 129. He is freaking smart. Like, super awkward, but freaking smart. It seems like the higher your IQ is, the more socially awkward you are. My IQ is higher? Sorry, my mom knows. What's my IQ, mom? <laughs> As I don't remember. See, my IQ is low, so I don't remember what it is. No. People with uh, high IQs can have terrible memory. Hey. Hmm? Oh, you're, you said your girlfriend's name is Vel? It sounds a bit like Vale. It's kind of cool. Ah, sweet. Apparently the doctor likes to draw an anime, too. I'm gonna call you the doctor. Oh wow, that's impressive. There is a con confidence interval, which means it's between 15 points above and below. Oh. Okay. Yes! Oh wow, they actually remind you. That's really nice of them. Alright, I think I've explored around here enough. Unless maybe- maybe I should do- Oh. Oh, bother. Wait, this is, uh, oh, it's 10 p.m. I thought that, I could have sworn that was one that was open at night. Doctor, Doctor Who. <laughs> well, your username says Dr. Nicoles. Would you prefer that I call you Nicoles? I try to shorten uh, names when I'm um, talking to people sometimes. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Don't bother us! Looks like they're having a hard time figuring out their dance. Later you can uh, actually show them a dance and they end up using it. Uh, where am I going again? Oh yeah, I have to go back to where the grandma is. Wait a minute, no! The stockpot inn is probably closed. That means I have to wait until morning. Ah! 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 Oh, haha. <laughs> Okay, there are some there are some times when I uh, really honestly don't pick up on stuff. So I apologize for that. Like half the time though, I will pick up on things and then I'll pretend to be oblivious. In that case, I did not I did not know you were joking. Oh, hi Steph. Yes, you do artwork. Sorry, I was reading a lot of messages, so I I sometimes miss some. Yeah, that is extremely high. I, I actually know one other person whose IQ is, I think, at least 150. But he's, uh... He's got, like, a lot of anxiety problems and stuff. So, again, the whole higher your IQ is, the more issues you have seems to be pretty consistent and predictable. It's not fun, though. It's like, I would honestly, I would rather be dumb and happy than smart and miserable. Uh, what am I doing? I am seriously just wandering around right now because I'm, I don't have anything to do until morning and I'm stuck in the, I'm stuck in the town. <laughs> Wait, is this place open at night? Or are these places open at night? Let's see. Also, trying to talk and play this game simultaneously, I might, uh, do the same actions in here over and over because I 
<laughs> I get a little ditzy and I'm like sometimes can't pay attention to two things at once. I don't remember if there's any interesting happenings at night. At least not here. <laughs> oh, there's this guy! Hello! Whoop. I can't like hold the... Whenever I do the looking button I can't hold on to it apparently. <sighs> Bad controller. Hello! They said I was too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad. Sigh. Now I'm sad. I just stay here all night and away from their pad. And you are a child, so you must go to bed. What? I'm not a child. You being... Ugh. You being judgmental because of my face hole? That makes sense, Clayton. I think 90% um, of the time I prefer to um, entire put my whole focus into what I'm doing. But um, I've gotten used to being under pressure just because of... Uh, like, I guess, how do I put it? I'm just a really... I'm a bit overambitious. I have... I've started, like, groups with people and stuff. I've led groups. After the release of my documentary, I had speaking events and stuff, and people would come up to me afterwards and start talking to me, and I'd have to juggle, like, three different conversations, because I have, like, people trying to, all trying to talk to me. Um, and it's not, like, usually a ton of people. It's, like, you know, two or three, but it's still a lot to juggle. Um... Uh, sorry, reading. Uh... I don't... To be honest, I think... How do I put this? I think sometimes I might lose somebody's attention if I'm talking a lot, but I've gotten fairly good at reading whether somebody's getting bored. And if I can't tell, I will just go right out and ask, like, you know, if, if what I'm talking about is boring them, or if they'd rather talk about something else. I've just had a lot of practice over the years with that. Um, and with most people, I lean towards trying to be more of a listener than a talker, unless I'm really close to them. Uh, let's see. This is the final day, so I'm gonna go to the, back to the Stockpot Inn and just waste all the time with, <laughs> with stories from Grandmother. Because apparently you fall asleep during the stories. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I... Uh, I notice it's easier for people to like you when you're a listener rather than a talker. And unless you're a skilled talker, if you're someone who can really balance how much you talk versus uh, how much you listen. And I'm, I'm leaning more towards a balanced talker-listener kind of thing. But in most cases, I I try to listen just because I I have a need to be liked. I'm only human. Um. Oh, grandmother is downstairs. Grandma, grandma, read me a story. Read me a story, grandma. <laughs> oh, tortoise, are you ready? Is this chair is in my face? Uh, apparently this grandma is, uh, Miss- Whoa. Whoa. Oh, look at the bobblehead. Yeah, apparently, uh, the earth shakes on the final day because the moon is getting closer. Yeah, I guess you can't do the story reading thing. Yeah, but she- she's apparently mistaking me for her, uh, her son or something? I don't know if it was her son or- grandson, but I think I'm pretty sure she has a bit of dementia. Never met an Aspie before? Not even online? Um, I would like to stream more often, and I keep telling myself, oh, I should stream more often. 
but it just doesn't happen because it's not a huge priority, so I just... Instead, I would rather just savor the time that I have and, like... I tend to do things only if I have to, so... With the, um... With... Okay, there's the moon. Just so you can see its creepy face. It's getting awfully close. Ugh. <laughs> um... Oh, what was I saying? Uh, I completely lost my thought. <laughs> oh yes, good idea, Steph. Yeah, it's uh, it's I love the Autistic Gaming Initiative because not only is it, you know, for a good cause, like we're trying to raise money for, um, for those two great charities. Sorry, I just had to play this game. <laughs> uh, but you you end up meeting other Aspies and you get to play games with them and watch them play games and you know join them on Twitch. A lot of in a lot of cases, if nobody else watches us, we watch each other stream. So it's like we've always got friends and we have like a reason to to <laughs> to actually get off our butts and socialize with each other. Wait, what did I what did I get? I was not paying attention at all. What did, what did I get? I don't think I got anything. I think I got Deku Nuts. Yee. Oh, I was talking about streaming. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I love how you can draw little lines on the ground. On the ground. All right, let's go into this place now. Uh, Wait, sit on what? What are we talking about again? What? No customers today? Okay. Well, I'm guessing he's discriminating against me because of my face hole. Again. This face hole is who I am. And people hate me for it. Okay, uh, time's still passing quickly. What shall I do in the town until it's over? So we got about 10, ten minutes left, apparently. Not, not in the game, but in real life for the stream. La 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 la. Call in show, call in show? <laughs> What, where people, uh, call and ask questions and stuff? I don't know. <laughs> I tend to like, uh, people texting to me more than talking to me because there's, like, you know, emotion and stuff in the voice, and if I don't know them, it's, like, hard for me to figure out what they're trying to say and stuff. People are forced to be direct in text, and it's a lot easier. <laughs> Maybe I should watch the moon fall. That'll be awfully boring, though. I'll just be standing here, looking up at the sky. Ah. Uh. So what is it? Just gradually getting closer? I'm actually looking really close to see. It looks like it is moving very, very slightly. If you watch the very bottom, near the clock, you can see it moving. Oh, sorry. That was my. That was me moving it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oops. Yeah, it's creepy. Freaking creepy. Yep, once this is done, go watch uh, Sithra on Twitch. Oy, 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 bother, bother. I'm not Winnie the Pooh. This is probably the most boring of my streams, just because I'm forced to wait. Oh. I wanna- I wanna ding the bell over here. Eh, no, eh. Night of the final day. I think you can- you can really only make it ring when you're a Goron and you punch it. I don't know if you know this about this game, if you have never played this, uh, you can turn into different species with different masks. Uh, there's Deku, which is this one. 
Uh, there's your normal human, which you don't need a mask for that. You just take the mask off. There's a Zora, which is like sort of a fish person. And then there's a Goron, which is like a rock person. Super fun. Oh, yeah. What well, I promise you, once this day passes, um, the gameplay will be a lot more exciting because I can actually manipulate time after that. Oh, I almost forgot. There's another guy in here who can speed time up for you. It's a, um, it's a scarecrow guy. Oh, hello. What are you doing here out in the middle of the night? <laughs> la 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 Oh, um <clears throat> If you guys have any ideas of what I should play next Or if you want to see me play more Majora's Mask Let me know A couple other games that we've been playing is um, Sims 2 And... Let's see. I was also playing a Pac-Man game. It was like a Pac-Man, well, Pac-Guy ripoff. Oh, here's the here's the scarecrow I was talking about. Hey, baby, I'm a style and scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget everything until dawn. Shall we dance? No, if we do that, and dawn comes, we all die. So I'm sorry. No, I already know that song. Okay. Uh, not really. I kind of, uh, like I said, I'm one, I got a one-track mind, so, I, um, in most cases. Why are you so excited to see me? <laughs> so, I tend to not, uh, do other things whenever I'm gaming. Unless it's a, unless it's a, a live stream and I'm, like, talking to people. That's the only other thing I'm doing. Yeah, I would probably be reading a whole lot more books or... More specifically, listening to audiobooks if I had the capacity to do so while I'm doing other things. So, when people suggest that I, you know, recommend a book for me to read, I'm just like, oh, thanks, I appreciate it. But I don't really, I don't really read. I just, I, I have other things that I'm interested in and I just, I can't multitask and do two things at once. Okay, so, oh, I'm in the main area now, so I just have to pretty much wait. We only have a couple minutes left of the stream, but I know that we'll make it to the end. There's only two hours left, folks, before this moon falls on us and we all die. So let's make it the best two hours of our lives. <laughs> That's probably how I'd spend my final hours. Spinning around on my tippy toes. Look at me. I'm drawing on the ground. Oh, your mother plays this game too? Sweet. I really... I don't know anybody whose mother plays a lot of video games. Five minute warning! Five minute warning! Whee! I want to catch some of that fireworks and eat it. It looks like kompeto, which is a Japanese candy that the soot sprites and spirited away eat. And it is a legit like candy that you can actually buy, so it's pretty awesome. Whoop, what am I doing? I just ran into a wall. Because I was trying to read messages at the same time. Oh, but this is so eerie at the... When it's in the last five minutes. That music, though. There's this uh, guy who did a remix of all the uh, Majora's Mask music. I'm trying to remember what it was called. If anybody's interested, I'll look it up later f for you. But um, he did a really eerie remix or remake of the f final... Final day song. Final night song, technically. Oh, you have my ocarina. That's mine. Can you please hand me back my, um... My potato. Tail. 
Plus, Skirk said, what was if you gave back that mask you're wearing now? Come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon, hurry, the four dead are there, bring them here, oh! Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. I don't know what voice to use for him. No, what are you doing to my brother, Skirkhead? Do you still think you're your f our friend after that? Well, whatever, I have your potato. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. I will use my powers of my mind to stop it. My first Legend of Zelda game was, um, Ocarina of Time, which is still one of my favorites. This is, this is my second, um, Zelda game I played, and then I also played, uh, let's see. I also played, <laughs> totally, a bubble would totally hurt you, <laughs> or paralyze you when you're this all-powerful being. Um, I also played Link's Awakening. Which is fun. I got my potato back! Which looks so much more high def now that he dropped it. Stupid skull kid making things pixely. Okay. Memories. You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Oh, this is my girlfriend. Well, not really. <laughs> it's Link's, Link's friend. Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule, eating potatoes. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. We'll have more potatoes. Until that day comes, please take this. It's... it's a potato. Don't eat it, though. It's not a real one. I am praying that your journey will be a safe one and that you won't choke on this potato. If something should happen to you, remember the song that I will play on this potato. This is the Song of Time, which lets you uh, restart the day. And, reversed, it lets you, um, it lets you speed up time. Okay, my buttons are really screwed up. Oh, okay, so this is, which button is this? Down, where's down? <laughs> it's partly on my keyboard. Alright, we got one minute left. Sorry, you're right. So it w that Yeah, the backward, backwards one is for slowing down time. Sorry. There's another one, I think, that, that was for speeding up time. Goddess of Time is protecting you. If you play the Song of Time, she will aid you! And she will give you more potatoes. Alright, I'm gonna be ending the stream in like a minute. I just wanna finish this cutscene. Ah, oh, this is where I finally get to use this thing. Oh, yeah, how did that appear out of nowhere? Let's see. Um. So this is what happens when you play the Song of Time. So, uh, Sithra probably already started streaming, so if you want to watch them, uh, click the link that, uh, that Steph sent in Twitch. Wee! Those pixels, though. Dun, dun, dun. This is basically just rewinding everything. Dun, dun, dun. His face looks funny. Dawn of the first day. 72 hours remain. And that's how you restart time. Dun, 
da -da. Everything has started over. It was fun indeed! Good chatting with all of you guys. So, uh, waiting f till I can pause it so I can pay attention. Oh! Stop talking! STOP TALKING! STOP IT! STOP IT! She's, she's talking forever. Okay! So yeah. Thank you for joining me! Go watch Sithra! And uh, I'll see you next month. And let me know what games you want to play. Or you want me to play. Um, at least ones that I have. I have a list in my YouTube video that I made a while ago. So yeah. Bye bye!